Just before we get started, I want you guys to know if you're sensitive or underage, this might not be the video for you. There will be cursing and drug abuse in this video. Hey, Swoonies. Listen, I'm not very happy. I'm pretty irritated, to be honest. I was finishing up a few things so I could um, make a video for you guys. You know how you have you been asking me to do reviews on certain medicines and then all of us can talk about it and see who it's helped, see who had bad side effects, that kind of thing. You know, I wanted to make a video about this later on and have more research done, more facts to show you guys. But as I'm looking up stuff for this medicine, Trimadol, I come across some really crappy videos online people showing themselves getting high. I took the shit, I'm feeling super sleepy like I just passed out a minute ago in that fucking seat. I woke up and I was like, what the fuck is going on? You know, because I was still in like a dream state. Halfway, and then I finally came back into reality and I was like, oh shit, I'm still in this chair. So I'm headed to bed now. I'm going to upload this shit tomorrow, so we'll be getting it tonight. I mean, yeah. <clears throat> and the high, it wasn't much, you know. I should, if I, if only I could take like fucking 10 of those tramadols or 12 to 15 maybe that would get me high, but I don't, I'm not sure. They're only 50 milligram kind of fucking tabs, so yeah. I'm just feeling itchy everywhere, you know? Like I feel so itchy and tired, a little bit loose. Food tastes really good, like better than usual. Music just sounds, I think it sounds the same. I feel really hot. Like, I, I can get heated up really fast, it's weird. My arms feel really weird. My body, my whole body just feels so fucking weird. Oh, I think Tramadol might be a different type of synthetic. You know, try Tramadol. I'm, I'm definitely gonna try it again, save up some more. Just like, take one out of the bottle every day or some shit like that, you know what I'm saying? But I gotta upload this tomorrow because my mom fucking caught me on YouTube and I gotta sign on my YouTube account now. She just caught me, like, I don't know what the fuck happened, but she just caught me just now, so I don't know how that happened, but it did, so, yeah. I think it's honestly the other shit that's making me tired, but it's weird. I do feel different, though. I will tell you that. That is a definite thing that I'm sure about. Oh, guys, look, I got a paperclip scraping resin. Shit, nigga, I don't know, I'm gonna... Just fucking smoke out of the pipe until there's nothing but resin and then I have to do it. You know what, I think I'm gonna take a tolerance break, but anyways, peace out, try Tramadol, later. This is the reason why you don't get the medicine that you need. This is why you're always judged for what medicine you take. This is why we have to go through so many obstacles just to get some help. I'm so disgusted with it because it shouldn't be this way. So many people have died because their doctors all of a sudden stop all their medicines because of the drug problem that's been on the rise. Sorry you guys, I was getting kind of heated in the moment and I had to hurry up and cut off because I didn't realize Gracie got home from school. So I've had a minute to cool off. But my whole point is people are out here, uh, I'll even show you in those um, screenshots that I took that were under these videos. Someone says, yeah, I have Tramadol for my... Uncle. Cool man, same here, ha ha. I am buzzed, they're for my back pain. You know how disrespectful that is when people are out there getting high off of this stuff? There's people that are needing it just to survive, just to take the edge off of some pain. Do you know what hell it is to feel pain 24-7? Ugh. There are people dying because their their doctors don't feel comfortable writing out the prescriptions, which that's a whole nother video. I want to show this to you guys, and I know many of you Spoonies that watch, you know that this stuff's being abused, and those that are abusing it are wrecking it for those that really need it, and the hell we go through, and the judgment that we get for needing it. It's really disgusting. So, if you see these videos on YouTube,
please report them. If you don't know how to report them, it should be a little thing on their video. I think it's on the top right you click. And you can flag, it'll say flag or report or whatever. But I'm going to share some clips of this. It's, it's irritating. One seems underage. I don't know, but I hope the parents see it. And I am going to talk more about this when I can look into it better. I can be more prepared. People really do need these medicines. And you guys just getting high off of it just for fun it completely screws it up for the rest of us. And this isn't just trim at all. This is all sorts of different meds. Take it as you will. If you're watching and you're not someone with a chronic illness or deal with chronic pain, in other words, one of my spoonies. That's why I call those that watch me here my spoonies. Is because a lot of us deal with a chronic illness, chronic pain, 24-7. And these medicines, they don't help with flare-ups. They definitely help us breathe. Because being in pain 24-7 is complete prison hell. So I get we need to end the whole abusing part of it. But what about those that really do need it? Okay, because if you feel this pain, it'd be a whole nother story. I felt like it was important to share. This is a part of the reason why people are getting their meds pulled away and dying, committing suicide over this stuff. They can't deal with the pain because we got jerks that are out there abusing it. I'm sorry this kind of messed that up, but uh, it was a thought. And you know I happen to share a lot of my thoughts here, good, bad, and the ugly. So thanks a bunch for watching, and I hope you see. I hope to see you guys in the next video. Take care. Hey everyone! So you know I promised I would make a second part of the video when the fucking effect kick in, man. And holy shit, did it kick in? I am not joking. Like I feel, I feel so fucking um, like like sleepy, but uh, really, really, really relaxed. You know, and I, I just listened to some music and, and it was like so, so soothing. So it's only been like 45 minutes and this shit totally hit me. <laughs> look, look in my eyes. They're like, uh, I just feel like I want to sleep. But um, trauma talk does, does work, man. Um, I don't know like how, how to prove I am high, but Jesus, this uh, kind of makes me <laughs> like, like want to laugh and shit. But uh, man, I, it really is, is a good high. And I bet this is going to get even more intense. So... Catch you guys later. Remember, trauma thought does work, but, you know, never overdose and be a fucking stupid shit. Like, take the whole bottle. Um, man, this really does feel really, really cool, man. And, uh, and you know, it was worth it.